Peace, what's good, family? I'm Ivy, and you're at Ivy Vibes. And today, I don't know. Let's just see what we... I don't know what kind of read I feel like doing, honestly. I don't. I could do a what you need to know. Um, hmm. Message from the universe. It's kind of like a what you need to know. Uh, we have this nature, which is the, the overall energy of this read. And then the underlying energy is perspective, which if you notice, the bird is upside down. So it will be kind of considered as like the hangman. Um, so I would say this right off the bat. Is that some of you may need to spend more time in nature to gain a different perspective. Some of you already spend time in nature and that's helped you to gain a new perspective on things where you kind of are able to take your mind off of the material things and put it more on the spiritual things oh, I feel like that's just all up in my face um, but we're going to see what it is that you need to release as a message from the universe with um, needing to spend time in nature and gaining a new perspective. We have the king of, oh, we have a match. We have the king of cups and the queen of cups. We might have some kind of love match thing going on here. Wow. Okay. This is interesting. Something I was not expecting. Um, hmm. So let me say this. I think that if you are I don't want to make this all about love. But if you are looking to have some form of love in your life, I think that it would have to start with nature and allowing nature to help you gain a new perspective on life, on your life, on love, on matches, on um, working together. And this could be one of those things where um, Spirit is trying to show you how you need to be working with nature to become one with nature in order to find that match for yourself or have that match for yourself. Match yourself first to nature. Nature will match itself with you. Um, when we think of matches, you want to do something or be with someone where it actually feels nature real natural okay um you don't want a situation where it feels like you have to fight uh persuade or anything like that um with a person um and then understand too that the more you're in nature the more you're if you allow yourself to absorb nature you're going to become one with it you're going to be a part become a part of it you're going to see how much you you are um nature nature is within you like looking at different aspects of nature one of the things that we know with nature is that the trees with the leaves help purify our air and 
help make it possible for us to breathe. And when you look inside the lungs, the branches in the lungs look like the branches of trees. So there's one aspect right there of nature. You may really find yourself to be more one with nature the more that you get into nature and study it and look at it. Um, let's see. I really don't even know what direction to go in with this. Um, because of that match, like it feels like this is Spirit is calling me to do like a love read for this. And I was just going to, okay, it still can be that for whatever it is that you need to know. So make yourself one with nature. When you match yourself up, I think that you will inevitably become one with nature. And that will be the easiest way for you to gain your match with someone. Um, if you are already in a partnership, I think that the more time that you spend in nature with your person, the more intertwined you're going to uh, become or feel with this individual. Um, like when I look at this, this person has the cup in their left hand, the king and the queen also has the cup in the left hand. Um, it's finding balance. Being in control of your emotions, creating uh, strong boundaries for yourself. And being in nature can be healing. I think there's like a loving uh, aspect of this too. It's And with the children here, it's like finding time to nurture yourself through nature. And allowing that. that caring aspect um, to come through with your partner. So let's see what else it is that we've got going on here. So as far as what it may be that you may what you may attain I would say some creativity here and more passion and desire um Or whatever it is that you are into. And also some growth to happen here. Newness of life. Um, possibly even a feeling. I don't want to say. Sacrifice is not the word that I'm looking for. But it's like a. Uh, This loving aspect of feeling like um, things will be lighter. And this is so crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay. The Empress is one that deals with pregnancy. And then you have over here this man is holding his baby. So I feel like this is saying that you'll see like there'll be this newness of life. This new creation that you would have. Um, and this desire to have um, something something new, something that you've never explored before. Being in nature, I think it will open up different um, avenues of creativity that you can expound on. That I feel um, 
you'll find different things, ideas, or whatever that you may want to give birth to that the universe may just give you. And it could be that those things will come just from you being in nature, being outside, and being able to see things in a new way. Um, and in gaining new, new, a fresh new insight, something that you've never seen before. So let's see what else we got. What else can we get from this here? I don't know. I just wanted to do a read. Didn't really know on what, but I just wanted to do a read. Feels like everything is coming, like really coming together in a way. So we have the nine of and before what we had was yeah the knight knight of, knight of wands and the empress so now we have the 9 of uh wands and the 8 of wands so i feel like being in nature there's going to be a sense of feeling protected in the end of doing things the way that you may have done them in the past where it may have felt a bit strenuous uh you may notice this lightness that ends up occurring, um, feeling more, um, less of a struggle, some form of enlightenment, and being there may, you'll, you may also get like some messages, I think nature will, will, uh, bring some messages to you that you weren't expecting to have, or things that you'll end up being able to see. I think it, there's something there that wants to guide you to this new way of thinking of doing things. Like if you look, there's like this light here. And then there's also this light here that she's carrying. And it's almost like the bird is trying to carry her away. So it's like you might, you know, discover something new in nature that will end up carrying you away. Bringing you some kind of news that will enlighten you that will um help you see things in a different way that will add some illumination to you and you may also feel more of a sense of protection from spirit in the universe than you may have ever felt in the past because we have she's wearing blue and then she's and that's a protective color like um the evil eye that blue is represented as a protective color. And then she's also wearing a symbol that means um, protection as well. And so I think that there might be this newfound sense of protection that you may just feel all around from spirit. Just letting you know that they have you. Um, that spirit has you and wants to take you to new heights. Um, you may end up doing, you know, it may... You may get into something where you see traveling and seeing things like spirit could open up whole new worlds to you just from being in nature, experiencing and exploring different parts of nature um, and having a lot of a lot of illumination. So I think that what nature would want to show you is that when you, with the three of coins here, when you collaborate your uh, intentions with nature, that nature will, uh, with the five of cups here, allow you to let go of all those things that you may have found some form of um, sadness from and regret, just letting those things go and finding a sense of peace with it. Pulling together in, in spirit, showing you how it wants to collaborate its efforts with you. It wants to bring you into a place where um, it can help to build your confidence 
and knowing that spirit has your back. Like if you've ever felt like spirit has not been there for you in any kind of way, um, just being out in nature can actually really show you how much more spirit actually has your back than not. Spending those times alone to be able to reflect on uh, things that may seemingly have felt like they were a loss or some form of a regret. And spirit can actually show you a lesson in those those things of things that um, whatever you felt like you've lost. That there's also something that you have gained. So let's see if we can get some kind of ending with this. Overall, overall ending. Okay. 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 So yeah, we have the six of coins and the two of cups. So I feel like at the end of this process, what you'll get is this feeling of knowing that spirit wants to give to you generously so that you will be able to give also in a generous uh, manner that you'll actually start to see the reciprocation that goes on between you and nature once you allow yourself to become one with nature and that there's going to be this uh, symbiotic type of relationship that you may have when it comes to nature and allowing yourself to be... Um, more involved in nature nature wants to give back to you or spirit wants to give back to you and um you'll start to feel the abundance also i think that's all around you not taking anything for granted but seeing the abundance and the beauty that is there and actually feeling as though you are being given something that spirit wants to give you like look at this angel is giving to this lady while she is out in nature. And again, sometimes we don't always feel like somebody has our back. But looking at this too, it's like she's looking up and who's behind her. Like spirit has her back. This other lady has her back. And I feel like that's what spirit wants to show you. Spirit has your back. Um, it's being able to appreciate the things that we have. And looking how... Spirit wants to give you so much more, but seeing things from a different perspective, like if your mind and your sight is so much on the physical things, it's hard to um, appreciate the spiritual things. And sometimes in order for you to have those things that you desire to have physically, you have to have a change of perspective um, spiritually like take your mind off of the physical things and look more inward like um and not to get preachy but looking at the bible it says um seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all these things will be added unto you so it's like all the things that you may be desiring it's just because you have to change your perspective you have to stop running after those things that are just about the material world and focus on nature, where nature can show you more things that are involved with spirit. And you start to work on building those things inside here. And then those things become a reflection to you on the outside world. So, that is it. I don't know what else to say or do with this read. Um, thank you guys for watching this read. And if it resonated with you. And you decide to spend more time in nature. Like I actually love spending time in nature. I haven't had a chance to do it the way that I would like to in a good while. But every now and then um, I do get a chance to find my way there. If this resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit your notification bell so that you'll know the next time that I upload a video. And um, definitely leave me a comment. I would love to hear your thoughts on this and how it's actually affected you if you are someone who has um you know if you like spending time in nature if you haven't in a while and just what it does to you so thank you guys for watching my video and comment to my channel i am ivy and you guys are at ivy vibes until the next time peace